Hello all, in this video, I'm going to give explanation on what is system variable and environment variable with explanation as well as the uh, snippet. Before that, we can see this is our uh, course, that is our app. Uh, in this, we can see what other contents are available. So we recommend premium course. In this, if you see 193 contents, see it starts with all like CAN protocol, VDS protocol, HL, hardware in the loop testing, simulation CAN tools, then we conducted some webinars that also will be there in capital scripting, bootloader part, then automotive question and answer. Some others, see, these are all the stuffs we have, sample projects and software testing, so many discussion and reference documents. All right, so these are all the stuff we have. And if you're interested, please, you can uh, contact uh, or we can, can just follow up the description as well. Sorry for taking much time. Fine. Let's start with this. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is system variable and environment variable? So, I'll just try to. Uh, close this the theoretical part as SEP uh, so that we can uh, focus much on the snippet uh, in capital um, system variables or predefined variables you can just remember these uh, terminologies that's enough so these these are all predefined variables literally that is used to provide information about the current state of the cano system cano or canalizer whatever it is while environment variables are used to store and retrieve user defined values so one thing you have to remember in environment in system variables you can't uh, have a accessibility of making you know user defined values it will be only um, system defined values that is what the system variables are for example uh, you know um, speed you can't able to uh, give a user defined but the maximum speed you can set as a user defined values all right so uh, because you can't uh, able to fetch anything in a system variable uh, similarly we have so many things like calibration values we can set in environment uh, variables but in system variables you can't that's it so it's a very simple to understand next is system variables are read only that's what the same it is it's it uh, again provokes the same and provide information such as the current simulation time whatever the simulation may be again as i said sir, maybe the vehicle speed or engine rpm or the temperature of the uh, temperature of your system whatever it is the number of nodes in the system and the name of the current network database these variables are useful for performing system level tasks in the capital program such as checking the status of the system or accessing the information about the simulation so again it is keep on rotating the same thing you have there will be a plenty of parameters or the values so you can retrieve this in the system variable all right system variables or predefined variables again same that are used to provide information about the current state of the cano system while environment variables are used to store and retrieve the user defined so same all right so the first uh, whatever we have discussed the same here then system variables are read only again and provide the information such as the current state okay i'm sorry so it has been repeated fine so only these two i mean the previous slide and this so this is the same has been repeated i'm sorry for that okay so that's it so you got system variable right so what exactly the system variables is coming to environment variable mm, so here also from here we'll start because it's been copied twice environment variables are user defined variables uh, you know system variables are pre it's, it's a predefined variable but it's a user defined variables this may be user defined variables okay so that can be used to store values that may change during the course of simulation whatever it is that's what as i said so maximum speed you can set the maximum speed to 100 km per hour or, or you can change it to 120 km per hour depends all right then they can be created and initialized by the user and their values can be changed at runtime you can change it environment variables are useful for storing and retrieving the data that needs to be accessed across the different capital programs or the different simulations Okay, so that's what you can, you can uh, depends on the scope, you can access it in the any part of the program. So both system and environment variables in capital are defined using the variables keyword uh, followed by the variable type and name. So anyhow, we have the snippet, right? So there you can see the sin, uh, proper syntax. Once defined, both variables can be accessed and manipulated using capital statements and functions within your program. Yeah, 
so we have two programs uh, one is with the ignition and another one is with the um, this one uh, speed on odometer and temperature lift fine so here this is the ignition now you want to you want to turn your ignition key all right so variables um, you, say as in your you you have some state say for example when you give a single ignition it will just uh, turn on your bcm modules so what are the inside your cluster everything will be uh, up so if you if you just again if you um, try to start the engine so that is your engine running literally so like that you can you can uh, you can consider like a 0 1 or 2 okay so here the message first we have to declare the message so this video is particularly for the system and environment variable so we'll try to focus only on that but this is just a body we have to understand so message i have i have declared the message as a two messages one is ignition key status and ignition uh, message ignition key status then timer ignition then kl15 so int integer engine status is equal to zero initially engine status is equal to zero on start uh, when whenever literally start of the program if it will check the ignition key status whether it is one or zero uh, or one or else all right so here uh, it is checking for one if it is one then ignition key status should be start that is the message start to flow so if this is one then the message start to flow in 500 milliseconds in the can trace on system variable so this is a syntax on system variable here ignition key is a on system okay so on system variable uh, ignition key so ignition message ignition key status dot ignition is equal to at system variable ignition key that is if if this is a kind of a system environment all right so this is a system environment so if this is one or two then it should reflect in the message ignition status if it is one or two only this message will flow if it is zero it will not all right so that's what here they mean it is if it is one then it will transmit to this so that's what on system variable that is on system uh, ignition is equal to at system variable so this is a syntax ignition key switch this okay so this means it is uh, representing the current instance until this uh, this is valid case one if engine status is equal to one message uh, ignition key status dot engine is running is equal to one break case two oh here it is again same but you can just uh, make it as two two if this is one then you can make it as two that's it on timer at system variable ignition key is equal to two if it is two so if we set to two then you have to follow some other uh, logic so the thing is what you have to understand is so here the system variable have been declared so how it has been declared here this is a engine key all right so that is ignition key for this you have to declare like this in this way on this variable at on this variable so this is the thing and coming to environment variable here we have it is very simple actually it's very simple to understand here i included the can tp dot h because here it is a messages or more it is see it is a 24 all right so the odometer reading is more than uh, the length then you can include the can tp dot h uh, that is a can transfer protocol because can doesn't support more than 8 bytes right so that's why variables system variable so here it is clearly been mentioned so two things are system variable one is sys where long odometer sys where byte fuel level coming to environment variable this is a syntax sys where underscore env float temperature sys where underscore env int speed limit so this is a syntax here has been declared the environment here it is system so it's a declaration both are declaration not definition all right on message now we can check with that can trace on message can message switch can underscore message dot id whatever id it may be okay so here it is you just we have to mention and here the id uh, because um, we have the switch cases with respect to id so here we have mentioned switch can message underscore uh, sorry uh, underscore message dot id so uh, in the trace window you have your you keep on searching zero cross z one zero zero in that odometer reading may be like this then also update the fuel level reading so in the fuel level by so this will be the format so it will it will just uh, in the output window it will just in the tr trace window you can get this it will validate this similarly case 2 0 cross 2 0, 0 temperature this is how the calculation will be and update the speed limit and default so here if you see the system variable is a odometer and fuel level 
and here it is a flow in environment is a float temperature and int speed limit so here speed limit can be user defined but temperature can't be a user defined that means environment variable is not only for user defined also for the uh, retrieving the information but coming to system variable it is purely for retrieving the information there is no no user defined values so what is the fuel level only system should tell what is the odo odometer also system should tell but here speed limit is being user defined user defined that's it so it's so very simple and uh, i just try to simplify as much as i can if you have any any queries or doubts yes you can always welcome to have your queries and um, yeah if you are interested to enroll in our course also you are welcome and you can find the details in the description we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care